please start by telling us your name and what district you represent. Sure, so my name is Liz Lee and I am the representative for District 67A. Uh, that is St. Paul's uh, east side. We're the northeastern corner of, of the city and so uh, we border Maplewood and some of the surrounding, uh, the surrounding suburbs of, of St. Paul. Um, we shrank um, after redistricting, so the northern border is, is Larpenter and the eastern border is uh, McKnight, but um, most of our western border is now Arcade Street. And I took from your campaign page, uh, your goal said that you, you want to make sure every family on the east side has the tools and resources it needs. What are some of those tools and resources? Sure. So, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, we have hardworking families all across Minnesota, uh, but District 67A is uh, one of the, 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 the poorest districts in the state, right? We um, are, have one of the lowest uh, annual household incomes at um, around 55K, and so that's, that's not a lot when you, you're your family of four. Um, so just making sure that everyone has safe and accessible um, affordable housing, um, safe and, and um, you know, accessible public transportation um, because a lot of folks, uh, you know, rely on public transportation to, to go to um, the one or two jobs that they have in, in the district um, and also making sure that people's, um, you know, children go, go to good schools, right? Because we know that, um, you know, one of the, the key tools to breaking out of the cycle of poverty is, is education. And the election was a couple weeks ago, but take us back to why you first decided to get involved and uh, wanted to run for the House of Representatives. Yeah, so, you know, for me, um, the, the east side is home. I um, grew up there. My first job was doing a paper route um, for the east side review, which, uh, you know, sadly no longer exists. And so for me, um, it's just been really important to uh, come back and um, give back and protect the community that raised me to be who I am. Um, I'm also a very, uh, you know, proud product of the St. Paul Public Schools and want to make sure that um, you know, all of our schools on the east side are, um, and in across the street are, are well funded and, um, you know, want to make sure that we, we prepare everyone and get everyone ready to become whatever they want to be in, in the world. You talked about some of the hardships your parents faced when they came over from, uh, when they came to America, and then some of the hardships that they faced when they got here. What have you learned from your parents and how have they shaped kind of your outlook on life? Yeah, so I, um, would, would say, you know, I'm, I'm one of the luckiest people ever. Um, my parents, um, you know, have been public servants for, for a very long time. And, um, you know, so from them, um, you know, they, they've always taught me and my siblings to, to give back to our community, um, you know, despite all the hardships that, that they faced, right? And so um, I think that, that resilience and, um, you know, that, uh, you know, the spirit of just like, you know, persevering um, is, is very important. Um, I think, you know, for them, I, I talk about how, like, housing is really important. I mean, we've, we've been very lucky. Um, the east side is one of the most affordable places for new families to, to buy homes. Um, and so that's, that's where they bought their first home. That's where they were able to, to buy. And that's, that's why, you know, we, uh, our family, you know, grew, grew there. Um, and so I, I just want to make sure that, you know, Everyone has the opportunity to do that. Um, they worked really hard to be able to accomplish that, um, but it could be easier, right? Um, you know, and, and I think for a lot of working families, you know, the, the question is like, how do we improve people's lives and um, make sure that people, um, you know, get what, what they put into the system? And just finally, uh, what's the first thing you'd like to get to work on when session starts? I want to work on everything, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, everything is. And, and I, when I say that, it's, it's because um, I approach policy making from a very intersectional lens, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you have safe and affordable housing, that means, um, you know, you can, you can go to school. Um, you know, if you have a full stomach and we have good nutrition programs, that means you can learn. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I, I'd say, you know, we just want to make sure that everybody, um, you know, who, um, you know, has dreams can, can accomplish them. And, um, you know, I, I am very much interested in housing. That's, that's an important issue in, in the Twin Cities and across the state. Um, but also want to make sure that, you know, we, we support everyone in, in, in our, our social safety net.